This is our reporting. According to one justice official, said that the White House public statements earlier this week offered a, an incomplete narrative about the classified documents from Biden's time as vice president, reinforced the need for a special counsel. The misleading statements created the impression that Biden's team had something to hide. That doesn't sound that much different than the There's former no, president. I, I can't believe it. Journalists on a news network doing actual journalism and holding Democrats to account for once. <laughs> Could this be an end to our long nightmare? Could the hyper-partisan culture wars really be coming to an end? Well, let's not start sucking each other's dicks quite yet. <laughs> this clip is a crazy one, folks, and I promise we're gonna get right into it, but first, a quick message from this episode's sponsor, Noble Gold. Noble Gold Investments is pleased to let you know that gold is the best investment class of 2022. According to longtermtrends.net, gold has actually outperformed the S&P 500, Dow, and Bitcoin for 2022. So what are you waiting for? Open a gold or silver IRA with Noble Gold Investments this month and receive a free one quarter ounce American Gold Eagle coin with every qualified IRA of $50,000. You can't go wrong with Noble Gold and their thousands of five star reviews. So call 877 646 5347 to find out more or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. And remember, there's always risk in investment and there are no guarantees of any kind. All right, so during an interview between Don Lemon and Chuck Schumer over the recent discovery of these classified documents in Biden's office, and in his garage next to his Corvette of all places. Classified material next to your Corvette? What were you thinking? People, and by the way, my Corvette's in a locked garage, okay? So it's not like you're sitting out in the street. So the but anyway. Was in a locked garage. Yes, as well as my Corvette. Um, it just blows the mind. But not only did Don Lemon press Schumer on Biden pretty hard, but also on the Democrats' totally opposite response to all of this compared to Trump's classified document situation. This is our reporting. According to one justice official, said that the White House public statements earlier this week offered a, an incomplete narrative about the classified documents from Biden's time as vice president, reinforced the need for a special counsel. The misleading statements created the impression that Biden's team had something to hide. That doesn't sound that much different than the There's former no president. Unreal. So weird that after a week of the media insisting that this was a completely different situation, that CNN's Don Lemon, of all people, is now admitting that they're not so different. But you're wrong, Lemon. You're still wrong because there are major differences that the Democrat state media never likes to mention. Like one, that Trump was actually negotiating with the DOJ to return the documents, whereas Biden was actually covering it up for months and they were actually holding it back so it didn't hurt them in the elections. Now, Trump was actually protecting the documents with a lock, which had been requested by the DOJ. Not to mention that Trump's location is guarded by the Secret Service. Whereas Biden's documents were in boxes in his garage with no Secret Service or even a security system. And that Biden's office was heavily subsidized by the Chinese Communist Party. Trump was also president and had the power to declassify these documents, whereas Joe Biden and Hillary Clinton had no such powers. That doesn't sound that much different than the there's former now, president. John, there's now a special prosecutor. Let's see what they have to say. We can have all this speculation and comment. Let's see what they have to say and let's focus on doing things that help the American people. <laughs> Senator, I have to, I have to get in and have to say this. Uh, you, you seem much more measured about this than with the Trump documents, because you call for transparency with the Trump documents. You wanted lawmakers to have access to the documents seized from the former president, uh, his residence in Florida, which it seems like you... The bottom line is, I said that night, it's premature to comment on what should be done. For and president I stick Trump by that. Mean. So a few things here. One, Schumer defended himself by saying that at the time, he said it was too premature to comment. And that's actually true, sort of news from South Florida tonight that the FBI has has searched the home of the former president. Yeah, well, I know nothing about it other than what I've read, like everybody else. So I think it's wise for me to withhold comment until we learn more. Except. Look, I think we don't. None of us know the facts and any comments are premature. Except just a few moments later, he does comment. I think they're going to pay a price for this in the election. And I think Democrats should use it as an issue that the rule of law, the protection of democracy is a key issue here. And we better watch out if we give Republicans power in either the 
House or the Senate. So yeah, he's definitely way more measured and calm right now. In fact, when Republicans did what Schumer was calling for Democrats to do, the media predictably accused the Republicans of pouncing. Another thing to consider here is that the Democrats have just decided to get rid of Joe Biden. And what we're seeing now is their strategy for doing so. Rush Limbaugh actually predicted this very thing happening just a few months before he passed away. Until, I'm going to tell you, folks, I think we're seeing enough information on the Bidens. Now, to safely say that Biden will serve at the pleasure of Barack Obama. If Obama gives the green light to Democrats to take Biden out, there will be ample evidence that Biden has lied about his knowledge, his family was selling his name and office with his permission. And if that's in fact the case, then there's likely unreported money that will be found. The fake news media will temporarily become hard news media if the decision is made that Biden has to step down. Until that time... They will be covering for Biden. They'll be making excuses for Biden. They'll be ignoring all the negatives. Damn, I really miss that guy. L. Rushbo might be right, and this might be the end for Biden. Many much smarter, wiser people are saying that right now, but I can't help feeling like this is all very familiar. Ever since I got into politics around the end of the Clinton administration, I've noticed that both parties get strung along like this only to be disappointed. It happens again and again. My prediction is that nothing will happen to Biden or Trump, although this may keep them from winning primaries in 2024, which was probably the goal here. All right, folks, that's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share, and leave a comment to let us all know what you think. Thanks a lot.